Hey guys, this is Omer from MMOs.com and I'm doing a quick uh, first impressions gameplay video for Asta Global, a 3D anime inspired fantasy MRPG developed by Maxonsoft and published by Game and Game. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes on the ground checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Asta Global or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. So on the login screen, boom! You got boobs in your face right over here. And I love the fact that she's just casually groping. Well, it looks like she's casually grabbing this chick's boobs on the left and on the one on the right. The one on the right is not okay with it. She's kind of iffy. The one on the left, she's excited. Anyway, let's just go log in right now. It's uh, This game used to be available through Games Campus in 2011. And they shut it down and it looks like Game & Game picked it up. And for you guys that don't know, Game & Game is a bit of an odd publisher. They're actually affiliated with the Korean government. So yes, the Korean government is spreading the love of free-to-play uh, Korean MRPGs in the West. So I guess we make a character, we gotta click the Add button. It's not a Create button, guys, it's an Add button. And you can see from the visuals, it looks like a little bit... Like, probably the best way to look at the visuals is a bit sharper Fly for Fun. Though it's not saying too much, because Fly for Fun is uh, quite an old game. So let's see if my name Rio Tay is going to be available. Uh, yes, it is available. And we're going to go with, let's see, you, you have quite a few classes. You have Warrior, Archer, and Mage as the three arch types. Three, six, seven, eight classes. I guess we can go with, let's go with a, let's go with a mage. Uh, let's go with female, obviously. And all right, I'm liking what I'm seeing there. All right, she's got the least clothes, but what else we got? Okay, I think the choice is obvious. We're going to go with, I don't want to go with healing mage, forget that. We're going to go with fire, let's go with fire mage. Which basically, I guess, range DPS. And it's one of those games where your customization is limited to just choosing between a bunch of hairstyles. They do say there's like 90,000 combinations, but it doesn't really say much because there's five hairstyles. Like, uh, five, and then how many of these are there? Let's go with, let's go with red. There, there really, you know, aren't too many options. Oh my god, that face looks kind of derpy. Let's go with it. And unfortunately, there is no boob slider, so we'll go with this. You can choose your constellation as well. I think, I don't know which one of these I am. I'm born in October, so somebody can tell me. Invalid character name? Guys, remote day is invalid. It's too good for this game. All right, uh, can we, can we check this? It's just available last time. How is that an invalid character name? Let's go with Remo. All right, character name available. Okay, that's also invalid. I'm gonna do something wrong. It's gotta be up to 18 English characters. Numbers can be used, but some words and phrases may be prohibited. So Remo is just not allowed. Let's go with cool gal 69. I guess, is that allowed? If Remo, Remo Alright, you can't go with a Remo or Remo tape, but Cool Gal 69, that's okay. I'm not sure how that filter goes. Go! It's not even a start button, it's a big go button. Kinda looks like um it looks like a lot of like cliche anime chibi MRPGs. And actually I remember playing Asta Global when it was called Asta Story 2. It was Asta 2 actually, it was a sequel to Asta Story. But they dropped the two and just made Asta Global for some reason. Attendance event, close that out over there. Would you like to learn the basic controls? No! I'm not sure why there's a little Mumu dancing on the right corner over there. But yeah, uh, this guy's got a cool Mario block over his head. Let's go talk to you. That's an odd way to you know, signify quests. But the, the actual art in the game is actually pretty solid. But uh, the in-game visual is kind of unique too. It's this very like cell shaded look. Kind of like a, also more crisper fiesta. Next, next, next. I will go. Let's go grab these quests. I, and I remember playing this ages ago and uh, it was actually probably the best way I could describe this from when I played it back in the day was solidly, solidly, solidly generic. And anyway, let's go a dangerous task. You know, we go outside town and start grinding because that's uh, that's what, love, that's what this game was all about. Uh, display character names. Uh, okay, next, next, next. If we get a quest out of this, maybe. All right, we're done. That's a little tutorial over there. Look how cute these enemies. This guy's on the floor. Poor guy. Do we have to kill you? I can't. I don't think I can attack you. These we can attack. So even the interface looks kind of clunky and old. Because again, 2011. The, for a 2011 game though, it's uh, definitely doesn't look that inspiring. Let's go with... I don't know, can, I, can, I, can I use my ability? You cannot use skill with the currently equipped weapon. Okay, so I can't cast spells with... Uh, I have a sword equipped over here. But it looks like I have, I, I have a sword equipped. Beginner short sword. Do I not have a... Do I really not start with a staff? Alright, let's go beat it up. In order to use arrow strike, wait, arrow strike. Do I need a bow? Do you, I need a bow to use arrow strike, apparently. And apparently, I do not start with a bow. That's that's pretty odd. I don't remember that issue the first time. But anyway, we 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 can probably level up pretty quick anyway. Let's go look at my skill system over here. So yeah, arrow strike is what we got. But can I use bash at least? We have five. Yeah, five is bash. Use our one hand sword for that. Odd. I'm pretty sure I selected a uh, mage in the character selection screen, but it looks like uh. Or perhaps it's one of those games we don't we don't pick our job right away. We gotta get to level ten or something to get our job. Yeah, we're a novice right now. So what you pick over there doesn't really matter. I guess it lets you preview what what the game's classes are. But until then, also you can see your character slots in your your actual character menu, which is kind of unique. You don't really see that in most games. You gotta log out to see these. 
But I'm not sure why they try selling these, because, like, a lot of MRPGs try selling additional character slots to make money, but you can just make another account for free. I mean, it's a free-to-play game. Why would I pay for more character slots? You know, I know Final Fantasy XI did it, but it made sense, because you had to subscribe to that game. Here, it makes no sense to sell character slots. Go kill these young wolves. But yeah, I, I, I'm assuming we get our job at level 10. It's typically like that. New notification. We got a new title, guys. Put that on. Confirm. Alright, do we have it equipped? Maybe not. Let's get level 3 over here. Oh man, more, more quests. More tutorial quests. I mean, are these actually quests? Because, like, you close them out and nothing happens. Uh, also, supply package. Get these goodies. Again, this is one of those games I would only recommend playing if you, um, if you played it, like a shit ton of free to play games already and you just want to, like, jump on a random game with a bunch of friends and just play and see who gets, like, further before they get burnt out. I mean, the player base is going to be tiny. I mean, it shut down through Games Campus for a reason. It was never really that popular. In fact, I remember playing the original Asta story much longer than I played Asta 2. Look at all this loot on the ground. Can we pick all this up really quick? Let's see. You can do digging. We don't do we have a shovel for this digging yet. It's kind of like uh, drilling, and uh, it's like you, you can get loot that way. From uh, it's kind of like drilling and tricks are online. But do we have to pick this up manually? There's got to be a hockey for this. And even so, like, at least like have a hockey pick them all up in one shot. It's just kind of you know, at least like Wildstar, you can just pick everything up around you. We got it, it's it's such a hassle to pick up all this loot. Vaguely reminds me of trying to pick up loot in um, what was that game? Uh, RF Online, Rising Force Online, where like every monster dropped tons of loot. At least this isn't like a private server yet. So we click two. Yes, you got to keep mashing two to pick them all up. Oh, man, what a hassle! Like it, it's unbelievable. Wow, that's such a convenience thing that they should have added. Easy grinds though. Uh, click on this. Becoming soulmates with another player allows you to journey together throughout the game world. Yo, who wants to be my soulmate? Can she be my soulmate? Oh, we got a player. Let's be my soulmate. Right, soulmate, please. All right, got it. Hold on, bro. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Send soulmate request. Did he run away from me? Yo, bro. Where are you at, buddy? Is that another player? Yo, Jess, she could be my soulmate. Is that an NPC? That's no, no. I think it's a player. Okay. Let's go over here. Hey, Jess. Come on. Doesn't let me do it. Maybe, maybe I can't do it yet. Gotta be higher level. Maybe she's already got a soulmate. Yo. Be soulmate plus. She's not gonna answer. Let's go kill a couple more of these for now. It's actually pretty funny because they do advertise their soulmate system as being like kind of original. But then again, literally like so many of these old MRPs have soulmates. And you, you get like soulmate quests in this game too. So if you grind like 100... Like, if, you, if you grind with your teammates, you get like bonuses and stuff like that. But this is really an odd game to be relaunched. Because it's it was never popular, and I, I can't even imagine like it really like I hate to be harsh. It really had nothing going for it. It was just solidly generic. Like the art style is again similar to games like Fly for Fun and um, a bunch of other anime RPGs, but it really didn't bring too much to the table. I mean, no poop slider either. Come on. I think they had a day and night cycle, but I mean, it, it doesn't have much impact on the game. A couple of players still here though. Can this guy be my soulmate? Please? Soulmate? No, we can't do it. We gotta be higher level for soulmates, apparently. Alright, title system 2. These tooltips are not helping. Can I just get rid of these? These are nonsense. We don't need these. We, we start with a bunch of potions. Do we, have, do we have slash dance? Oh, come on. Let's do the cry. Yes! At least there's some emotes over here. I like games with good emotes. I, one, one reason I liked Ian Eternal a lot was it had like a whole bunch of different dances and emotes. They were a lot of fun. Let's go kill this guy too. But yeah, I mean, I, I remember completing this whole zone. I think the next one was like a desert or something. I did that one too. And after that, I quit because I realized there was really not much else to do in, uh, in Asta Global. Or Asta 2 back then. And let's go let, let's go grab our quest in town. Alright, let's go, let's go do that. I think, yes, one little neat little thing you can do is you can actually click on your map and you'll run there automatically. This is a little feature I kind of wish every MRPG had. But uh, fortunately they don't. But this is nice. You can just click on the map and boosh, there you go. I went right through that rock. We just phased right through it. Look at that jump. Can we see? Yes. All right. All right. You can see a panty shot here. Instruct the Nimi. It's fine. These boxes totally look like they're stolen from Mario. All right. We did this quest. We got some novice pants. Yo, she just gave me her panties. Uh, inventory. Let's open these up. Where, where are my novice pants at? I could have sworn I just got some novice pants. Where are they at? You see novice pants as a reward. Where are they? Okay. They go into my gear menu. Uh, newbie attendance. Let's go to all around. Why not? Put my pants on. Wait, I want to put it on. There we go. Double left click. It binds to myself. 
Open that too. Get all the goodies. Do I get like more gear? Supply pack is level 5. We get a bow as well. Nice. So we do start with a bow. That's nice. I, I kind of missed it last time. Because you usually you're usually you have a different different tab for like uh, craftable goods, not your gear. It's kind of weird to put gear in a separate tab. HP increase potion. Seven day. Oh, nice premium potion. So you get a lot of little goodies to start you off. But again, it's uh it's gonna be a rough sell. I mean, there's almost no reason to check this game out over some of the newer free-to-play RPGs, and it's not like a cult classic like Ragnarok or Maple Sword, something you'd want to go back to. I mean, again, it sounds pretty harsh. This is probably one of my harshest first look videos. I mean, I mean, on the positive side, it's a functional, solidly generic game. We get 10 experience for that quest. Totally not worth. All right, we get more quests in town. Let's go talk to you, Corin. These, these blocks again are totally stolen from Mario. Uh, yawn, guarding the village like this every day gets really boring. I wouldn't have become a soldier if I knew I was going to like this. If it's going to be like this, I should have been better for me to join knights and hunt down monsters. All right, nice. Well, these translations aren't awful. I mean, we've seen some of these uh, like relaunched Korean MRPGs like Dark Eden and stuff have really awful translations. On the positive side, it could have been worse. I mean, let's go kill some bothersome creatures, all right? They're bothersome. We got to take them out, all right? And, you know, another, another thing about these games too, I feel kind of like bad. Look how cute these guys look. What are they? Young parasites will be we're killing babies over here. Look at them. They're super kawaii. We're just murdering them. What'd they ever do to us? Man, it's so much easier to grind with the with the bow as well. But yeah, I mean, can't really do too much with skills just yet. Uh, hide unlearned skills. First job, second job, third job, fourth job. So at least there's quite a few job advancements. I feel like job advancements kind of died down with newer RPGs. It's kind of sad too, because I always look forward to uh, like advancing jobs in games. It was a nice touch. It was always like a little milestone to look forward to. Now you have other stuff too. Uh, we leveled up earlier. Crafting skill level one. I should get stat points, I think, if I remember correctly. Do we have stat points yet? Uh, no, maybe not. Go to store and stat points. Because again, a lot of these older games did have them. Look at this poor guy on the floor. We can't kill that guy though. He's he's, he's untargetable. Nice. Look at that booty on the back. Uh, no stat points really. All right, we leveled up. We're level four again. Look, look at this Amumu, like this robotic Amumu just dancing in that corner. Someone's looking for you in Alpen. So I'm just letting you know you have quests. Uh, let's go shoot this guy. Uh, you cannot use a skill to currently... I have a bow. What are you talking about? Uh, see my inventory. Is this a game... Yes, you have arrows. I really don't like that. Like With a lot of range classes, some games require you to buy uh, projectiles. Other games don't. I'm in the camp of just not having that because it's such an inconvenience and usually you know you buy a shit ton of arrows at once anyway that it really doesn't really cost anything it just it just, it just annoying and gets in the way but yeah i mean not much really to say about asta global it relaunched if you were if, if you if you my god look at that look do you see my character's face holy shit look at her this is like the most ugly face in the world look at that set look at that crazy friend now she's happy <laughs> She goes from like this derpy smiley face to this urrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr